Hey guys, it's Paul. I just want to do a quick video on why I've just swapped from uh, Bitty URL Shortener to Rebrandly. Uh, I've, I've used Bit, Bitty, Bitly for a long time. And what's happened is I can't edit any links that have been changed in the past, right? So this one, um, let's go with, da -da -da -da, where are we? Shop, where's my Shopify link here? This Shopify link, right? So obviously I do a lot of YouTube videos. I do a lot of affiliate marketing. I do a lot of partner links. So I'll create a video on how to use something like Shopify. And then I'll uh, post my partner link. So I, I get a referral. I get a little bit of commission if somebody signs up via my link, right? So what I can do on Bitty with my, uh, what's this called? Um, oh, I can't think of the word now. It's vanity, vanity domain. Is I can make it not bit bit.ly and then a link. I can change it to pnuk.co and then I can have the link, right? Whatever link it might be. The problem is I cannot change the original URL link. So if I went to um, something like uh, Shopify and said, oh, I want to change my admin or they come up and say, Paul, we've got this really good deal where you now get 20% off original signups uh, and people get a 30-day trial instead of 14 days. Just send them to this link instead. So all my videos have got pnuk.co forward slash Shopify on it, but I can't change this link. I can't change it on Bitly. You can if you go to the enterprise level, uh, but I never got I never got to how much the pricing was because I think it was something stupid like 500 bucks a month, but I might be wrong, but uh, we never even got to the conversation. But when I go to rebrandly, I'll, you know, I create my link the same. Here's the, here's the Shopify one, right? And I can go here and edit it, uh, uh, be the first to click and then edit, right? This is my link. So I can edit that link. Uh, oops, sorry, this is my link. So I can edit this link. So it might now be uh, uh, Happy Me uh, Discount, right? They might say, pull, give them this link, and then, then use that link, right? And now I've edited the bitly, the, uh, the shortened link all the way across my videos without having to do it uh, without having to change the link, what would I have to do here? So what did I use? So what I would have to do on for this now, so if I grab this URL, I would go to, to Bitly. I cannot edit it. I can't edit the direction, the host, the, uh, the URL where it's going. There's nowhere to do it. It's not an option on my free plan. I would have to create a uh, link. Oh, Get rid of that and it would come up and then i would go uh shopify right and it would say that's a little bit of another thing as well bitly is case sensitive so when i do shopify and save it's going to say that custom bit link is already taken i don't know if i do small that one so it's i can't use the same one obviously on a new URL. So I'm gonna to have to change this to uh, discount. So I'm gonna to have to be Shopify discount and save, right? Uh, Bitly link is taken, oh no, that's taken as well. Discount one, two, and save. So, so I can add a new URL, but then I would have to go through all my videos, all through my website, everywhere, and update that information. Where as easy as it is on Bitly on a rebrandly, I'm just going to jump into my link. You know that that discount's now gone. I'm going to come back to here, and I'm just going to delete discount and save. Now that to me is a great thing. Um, what I didn't I didn't do it before because the the um, the option wasn't available for this to be a secure link. So if I paste this. So it's now a HTTPS. Uh, it's now a HTTPS. Uh, a couple of months ago, maybe six months ago, I looked into this and it wasn't. It was just HTTP. So anything on my uh, videos would 
would not work because if they clicked on a HTTPS link that was only HTTP, it wasn't a secure link, it wouldn't have gone. But now Rebrandly seem to have fixed that. Uh, and I'm slowly moving across, moving my uh, links, my popular links across from um, Bitly to Rebrandly. So I'm sad to leave Bitly. I liked it. Um, it was cool. It worked. It was functional. But not being able to edit those URLs was just becoming a, too much of a pain and sapping too much of my time having to go back and you know I've got a lot of Zoho videos so if I change the Zoho sign up link I would have to go back through like something like 50 videos uh, or through my website and change all the links in the training so I hope this is just a quick training video why I've changed from Bitly to Rebrandly uh, you know I hope it helps you know that you can do it too I'll probably put some training together for Rebrandly uh, and how to how to use it to to maximize uh, getting clicks on those shortened links. Cool.